There are a lot of things going on in early pregnancy. The first thing that you need to understand is the menstrual cycle. A good understanding of this can help you understand how the other parts play into the process. A huge part of the menstrual cycle that is the basis of pregnancy is ovulation. Ovulation typically occurs 14 days prior to the beginning of menstruation, the point when the uterine lining is sloughed off if no pregnancy has occurred. This means that if you have a 28-day cycle, you would typically ovulate near day 14. But if you have a 32-day cycle, you would probably ovulate closer to day 18. Once ovulation has occurred, the egg will live for about 24 hours. In the outer third of the fallopian tube, the egg will meet with sperm. Sperm can live for 4 to 7 days inside the female body. So getting pregnant means that you need to have sex near ovulation, but not necessarily the exact moment of ovulation. When the sperm meets the egg, this is called fertilization. Once fertilization occurs, the fertilized egg will travel the remaining way through the fallopian tube to the uterus. Implantation is when the fertilized egg burrows into the uterine lining and begins to grow. Implantation usually occurs between 8 and 10 days after the egg is fertilized. So if you have a 28-day menstrual cycle and ovulate on the 14th day, implantation would occur somewhere between day 22 and 24 of your cycle. If your cycle is longer than that, implantation would occur between 2 and 4 days before you would expect your next menstrual period. This is why pregnancy tests are very specific about their timing. A pregnancy that is implanted four days prior to the expected start of your period is just beginning to send signals to the woman's body altering it to the pregnancy. You can see how it is possible to have very little in terms of the human chorionic gonadotropin HCG showing up in your urine at this early stage. This is why false negatives are problematic at this point in pregnancy. Testing this early is usually something that is not recommended unless there is a very specific reason. Most women do not have any specific symptoms to indicate that implantation has occurred, but a small number of women experience a phenomenon called implantation bleeding around the time of implantation. Implantation bleeding usually involves only very light spotting, but occasionally can be confused for a menstrual period because of the timing. Occasionally implantation occurs outside of the uterus. This is considered an ectopic pregnancy. An ectopic pregnancy is often called a tubal pregnancy because many of these pregnancies occur in the fallopian tube. That said, some of these pregnancies also occur in places like the ovary, the abdomen, the cervix, and a few other places. Sadly, when the egg is not within the confines of the uterus, the pregnancy is certain to fail. In fact, ectopic pregnancies are one of the leading causes of death in the first trimester, making them a huge problem. Treatment can include medication and or surgery. This can also have ramifications in future pregnancies 